my first MTH car and my second? We're going to find out next on Mark's Lionel Trains. <laughs> Welcome back to Mark's Lionel Trains. I have to say, I ordered this MTH caboose about a year ago, March 8th of last year, and it took about a year to get here. But it really looks nice, and you know, I ordered this MTH caboose because I watch a lot of people's videos, and every time I comment, I, I really like that caboose. They always come back and say, it's an MTH caboose. So, I'm going to take a look at my first MTH caboose, and I decided to get the Southern Pacific MTH caboose also. Basically because um, Mr. Muffin's trains, when these came in, he said it was sold out. So I reached out to another train company and uh, ordered it from him. And then, of course, Mr. Muffins, he's, he's, his are back in stock, so. All right, let's get over to the layout and check out my brand new MTH cabooses. All right, there's a look at the front of the box. Boy, it looks beautiful from inside the box, I must say. And I don't even have it opened yet, and it looks awesome. Here's a uh, look at the flap on the side. Rail King by MTH, Chicago and Northwestern Extended Vision Caboose. I'll bet this is really going to be awesome. I picked this up basically because I ordered this from Lionel, and uh, it's a little smaller than I expected it to be. Uh, I definitely pay attention to the um, measurements in the catalog from now on so I don't get any cabooses that are too small. This is the caboose that I uh, ordered on eBay and it's a uh, scale representation of a caboose so that's basically why I, you know, it's, it's a total different ball game when you're talking about scale and non-scale cabooses. All right, let's uh, get this open and, and check it out. This will be awesome. Oh, excellent. I love styrofoam packaging. It's very good. I'm in a uh, cold weather climate, and the um, clamshell packaging that Lionel's been using has uh, really been uh, really not liking cold weather. It cracks, it gets frozen, and yeah, it doesn't fare very well. So I'm really liking the styrofoam packaging here. So we'll get this front cover off here, and they have the caboose in a nice plastic bag. So we'll get the caboose out of the plastic bag here. Yeah, that's awesome. It's packaged very well. This is awesome. My first MTH caboose. I'm pretty excited. Like I said, I ordered, you know, a long time ago. Oh, man, is that sweet. That is nice looking. Look at that. Awesome. Wow. Gosh, it, 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 it even has chains. Wow, it has chains there. Real chains, not just the plastic ones. I've watched an Eric's Trains video of him cutting off the plastic chains and putting his own real chains on there, that's for sure. So, that's awesome. Perfect. This is really, really nice. So, yeah. Actually, we have a little issue here with the truck. Hmm. Yeah, that's really loose. I don't think that's supposed to be that loose. Yeah, that's really, look at that, look at, that's really, I don't know if you can see that on camera. Can you see that? That's really loose. I think that's a problem, so, all right. Um, we're gonna have to, I do have another caboose, so let's uh, get out the Southern Pacific caboose and see too, but boy, is that, that is beautiful. And there's a look at the Southern Pacific end box. I got this from CT Trains, McCormick Hardware. Uh, they had one in stock, and they had awesome service, so shout out to the guys at uh, at CT Trains. Awesome. Right, I bought this caboose sight unseen from this picture in the catalog. Unfortunately, the color isn't quite as red as the picture in the catalog, but um, it looks okay. It's probably correct with the uh, orange in the back there with the uh, Southern Pacific. 
Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure it's probably more correct, and maybe that's why they did it, but, you know, I, I know that, you know, what's advertised in the catalog isn't necessarily what you get, so. You know, I, I have this other Southern Pacific caboose here that has the orange as well. You can see that it's a little bit smaller, but that's, uh, it's a much deeper brown than this. It's more red, so I guess it's okay, so I guess we should check the, check the trucks on this one, too, and see if it has any truck issues on this guy too that looks okay that one's loose okay we do have a loose truck here so okay i guess i'm gonna have a crash course in taking apart mth cabooses um looks like there's a screw here and here um um i guess i'll take you over for a ride on taking one of these apart i've never done one so let's let's take apart an mth caboose and see if we can get these things in the rail all right we have the car in the cradle I apologize, I didn't think I'd be ending up with two how-to videos in a row. I just wanted to get the cabooses on the rail and that's why I pushed their video up. But as you can see here, the uh, the truck is very loose. The the pin is actually out of the, um, the truck side here and it's very loose. I would gather that these just got loose in shipping. They weren't exactly wrenched down at the factory and uh, they were good enough to pass QC and uh, they just in shipping. I mean these things travel thousands of miles in an ocean container so I'm sure they bang around that's for sure. So any of you MTH guys uh, please chime in on that and let me know if you uh, you know anything about these. Uh, actually that screwdriver won't fit in there either. The only the only way I'm gonna these uh, these trucks um, there's a little screw and you'll almost have to get it because it doesn't line up flush I have to get it like in between the the truck face here because I can't get my screwdriver in there I think I got it now boy that's under good all right all right I've switched to my number two screwdriver I'm having a real difficult time getting this these screws out because this truck is in the way, the way they have this situated in here. So I'm trying to get these base screws out of here. Okay, that's loose enough on that side. Let's try this side now. Uh, am I gonna get to this one? Oh, well the truck is falling off of there so it'll be really easy to get to this one. Yeah, the truck is just out of the, totally out of the, the frame there. I don't know, it's kinda, yeah, like I said, I don't think they left the factory like this. I, I really think that this happened in shipping, these these things. I don't know. This is my, my first MTH car, so I don't know. Can I get to the other screw in here? Boy, they don't make this easy, do they? No, I can't get to it from here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I got to get to this screw here. Okay, all right. I'm going to have to get these screws out off camera. It's going to take too long. All right, that was absolutely no fun, taking those screws out. They just don't give you any clearance uh, on these trucks, but okay. All right, we have it out so we can lift the base off. And now we can see the, all right, good, it's a Phillips screw. We have a Phillips screw that's holding the truck on. So right, let's put this off to the side here. Take the truck off. Ah, boy, that's on there good too. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, got it. All right. We got our truck off. There it is. And yeah, boy. Right, let's put this off here so we don't break it. All right, let's put it on there and let's tighten it down and. I guess that just the two tabs just lock it in where they go, so just tighten it and then we should be all done. That one's pretty tight on that side, so it's just this side here that wasn't right. Okay, let's check the spin of the wheels before we put it back together. That looks good. That looks good too. Okay, they're spinning. Perfect. Okay, we'll put this truck back on. Okay, that's a lot of thread. 
is all right, tighten it down nice. So we'll have to go back in here again. Okay, let's do the other one. Check it, make sure it's okay. I don't think this one was quite as loose, if it's loose at all. But I just want to check to make sure anyhow, so. Okay. It takes a while to get this off of there. Got it. Okay, cool. Okay, let's move him out to the side there. And we'll tighten him down there. That's tight. And that's tight. So this one was tight. So that's okay. I just wanted to make sure anyhow. Okay, and then we'll get this screw back in here. Like that. Okay. But it has a lot of threads for a little screw. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I get to struggle with putting it back together again. Quick look at the inside while I have it apart. It's got two lights in there. On the uh, underside of the caboose, it has some silver reflective paper in there to reflect the light around. Um, I'm thinking about maybe using the Roy's Trains method and replacing these with the LED lights. That would look really good, but I'm going to do that down the road and we'll see. So we'll try and do that. And let's get this guy hooked back together, get those lined up correctly, because you've got the heats, the, the, uh, the silver heat things have to line up with the bulbs. So let's get that lined up. Okay, there we go. Got it. All right, now I gotta get the screws back in. Let's hopefully see if this uh, goes a little quicker. I'm hoping. Uh, I'm gonna say that it's probably not going to go very well. That's for sure. Oh boy. Yikes. Okay, get the first one in there. Okay, that went not too bad. Let's get the next one lined up. Okay, where's the hole? There it is, I see it. Okay, get it in there. Okay. Okay, that was almost painless on that. Wow, I'm surprised it went so fast. Boy, is that, that is a beautiful caboose. I must say, it is, it is gorgeous. All right, let's get this on the rails and watch it light up. Hopefully it'll light up. All righty, we have the Chicago Northwestern caboose on the rails, all lit up, looking fabulous, I must say. For $70, this is a really, really nice caboose. The detail is just fantastic with the metal grab bars there. The lettering is just fantastic. It's actually got a metal uh, ladder in the back here. The uh, little marker lights uh, actually light up a little bit with the interior lighting. I think Roy's Trains uh, lighting system might look really good in this caboose. These are the Tomar marker lights that he sells on his site for caboose. If you would, guys would be interested in uh, another how-to video on me installing the uh, Roy's Trains lighting system in one of these cabooses, I'll probably install it in both if I decide to do it. Um, it would be really cool. Um, I don't know what you guys think about any of my taking apart trains videos, uh, how-to videos as it is. Just let me know in the comments uh, what you, uh, you think. And there's a look at the side or the back of the caboose. I am just blown away that they have metal chains in here. That is really awesome. The brake wheel is really nice and this metal ladder is really awesome. So, and you can probably see the little lights light up. They, they're pretty nice. You know, I might leave them. I'm not really sure. I really think the Roy's Trains method really looks awesome. MTH is calling this a uh, extended vision caboose, basically because the cupola hangs over the sides just a little bit on each side uh, so that the uh, brakeman can see down the train better. Uh, if they would have had a caboose in that uh, crash in Ohio, they probably would have been able to see that uh, bearing on fire a lot faster. But uh, I digress. Comparison between the traditional Lionel caboose in the front and the scale MTH caboose in the back. Uh, the MTH caboose is a little over two inches longer. All right, there's a look at the Southern Pacific caboose. It has all the same detail as the Chicago and Northwestern caboose. I would recommend that when you uh, get these cabooses that you maybe check the trucks and make sure that the screws are tight. It seems to be an issue. I had both these uh, trucks had loose screws, so definitely want to uh, make sure that you have those before you 
have those tight before you run them on the rails. So I think it's time to run some trains and watch these cabooses go around. Thank you very much for watching uh, this episode of Mark's Lionel Trains. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all your wonderful comments on the last video about the auto carriers. Man, I got some, some good comments. I definitely want to get that, uh, that gauge uh, guide. That's for sure. That would be really cool. Thanks for all your advice on that. So, all right, let's run some trains.